16% of talent show applicants say they would be prepared to lose a finger for a shot at fame. Is that true or false? Is that an actual question that you would ask a talent show applicant? I think it's halfway That's through it. the act. People just go, I'll just chop your finger off. Do something. <laughs> I do it. What I do is I chop it off and stick like that and put the finger out my ear like that. That's incredible. Or, or you could wrap it around your neck and use it to point at things. <laughs> it's just around the corner, just over there. On the outside of the X Factor auditions, though, going down the back, <laughs> block with a big bag, going, fingers, your fingers, <laughs> fingers, come on, you, just bend in that. Fingers, come on. You know, it's illegal to chop your finger off, because it means you're not fit for military service. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> How did you come across that nugget of information? People tell me things and they stay in. Did you hear that, Nikki? Yeah. I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> of course you weren't. Do you think it's an escalating scale of what, you, what limbs you have to lose to gain a certain degree of fame. Like Heather McCartney. She lost the whole leg. But she made a fortune. <laughs> What's his name? Lost his eyesight. Blunkett. <laughs> These are all things Mickey learned in part one. <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? 16% of talent show applicants say they would be prepared to lose a finger for a shot at fame. True or false? False. OK, I can tell you that the answer is in fact true. Oh. All right, calm down. Well done. <laughs> it's not a lot of people, though, is it? Not a word. I mean, it's quite mental, isn't it? 16% would go, yeah, I'll have a finger off just to sing for Simon Cowell. Of course, once they've done it, they'll have to tend to f off like this. <laughs> <laughs> Here is your related statistic. 38% of call centre staff claim that their job has helped them find romance. Is that true or false? <laughs> well, they can't find my details. I can be customer reference. I can be my date, my postcode, my blood group. They can't find f do the cold calling, you know, that ring you. I think that helps the love life, because I always say, go and get <laughs> But some people do sound more sexy on the phone. Yeah, often people phone me up and they say, can we interest you in double glazing? Like, no, but you could certainly take me out to dinner. <laughs> Have you ever had phone sex? Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I like the fact you know when the call's over. <laughs> and your mum walks in the room. Yeah. <laughs> she can't walk in the room, she's on the phone. <laughs> You know, in America, all the sex lines start with 900. And uh, the, the area code for Western Tennessee is 901. So you must get a lot of people in Western Tennessee just getting a misstyled call. What am I wearing? Overalls. <laughs> <laughs> My daddy's right here. Earl, it's for you. <laughs> all right. 38% of call center staff claim that their job has helped them find romance. Is that true or false? And I think yes. We think yes. We, we think it's yeah, probably right. true. OK. I can tell you that the answer is true. Yes. Yes, 38% of call centre staff claim that their job has helped them find romance. Call centres are weird things. Yeah, I need to go from Coventry to Ipswich on Saturday. I better call someone in Bangladesh. They'll know. <laughs> <laughs>